Hi everyone, it's Tlia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we're switching things up and we've got a Primark haul. This is a very full up heavy bag full of lots of new spring summer bits. I say spring summer, okay, but I mainly mean summer because we go on holiday in two months. So I'm kind of going crazy on the holiday shopping right now. Um, so yeah. I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. I got a mixture of clothes and accessories. I love Primark for accessories. So we'll start off with the clothes bits and then get onto the accessories, which you should defo stick around for because Primark shoes accessories right now are just on another level. So the first I got was this super cute knitted crocheted jumper. You guys know my description of things is not very good. I'm just a normal gal showing you what I bought from Primark. So I picked this up in a size medium. I definitely say to size up in this. I was going to get it in a small, but I'm happy that I got it in a medium. It was also £15, which isn't pricey whatsoever, but I feel like for Primark, anything over £10 for me feels a little bit pricey. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cute. I thought it'd be really nice with a pair of shorts. It also has a little scallop detailing at the bottom. They also had this in like a bright pink colour which I was so close to getting but I just went with my standard cream I know I have a lot of cream jumpers and tops already but I just couldn't really help myself so there is a nice pink one if you are interested in it so this is how I was envisioning styling this jumper obviously you can wear it with jeans but I just thought for spring this would be a really nice like transition piece when it's warm but not quite the summer weather so I just paired it with these denim shorts from Zara and yeah I was thinking that I may potentially tuck the bottom of this into like a little bralette just to show a little bit of the midriff to add a little bit more shape but if I'm honest it's not like too much of a horrible length on me like I'm not mad at it whatsoever I think I may go back and get the pink one just to add a little bit more colour the sleeves are an okay length I think I have quite long arms for my height I'm five foot five um so yeah they're a little bit I don't know. They're okay. It's not the end of the world. They're not like cropped, but I just like personally having longer sleeves. So yeah, really, really good quality guys. I definitely recommend that you go and check this out and the pink one as well. The next thing I got was very colourful. It's green. I don't think I own anything in this shade of green. It's like a nice emerald green. Now, I don't really know what this is. Um, I want it as a dress, okay? So it's basically like a shirt with a little tie-up drawstring. And I don't think it's long enough to be a dress, but I'm really hoping that it is going to be. I got it in a size 10. And again, this was £15. If it isn't long enough to be a dress, I will just wear like cycling shorts underneath it because I don't see myself like wearing this kind of shirt with jeans or leggings or anything. It's just a really nice colour. I thought on holiday, this could be really cute. I mean, it may be long enough to be a dress, but I think I'll definitely wear shorts underneath it either way, just for a little bit of security. And then obviously like undo the buttons a little bit to make it a little bit more casual. I'm not gonna lie, really upset about this. I mean, I think it is meant to be a top, so it makes a lot of sense, but it just isn't, obviously I've got shorts on. It's just not long enough to be a dress, which is such a shame because I absolutely love this. If it was just a couple of inches longer, then it would literally be perfect. I don't think I'm going to keep it. It is a really nice quality though, like the quality of it. I mean, there's a thread loose here, but the actual material is really, really nice. And I love the colour. I've never worn this colour before and I love it. But yeah, it's just not long enough to be a dress and I'm not really feeling it with the cycling shorts underneath. I then got another shirt. <laughs> going a little bit shirt crazy primark right now have so many shirts they have so many plain shirts so many checkered shirts they are on a shirt craze so i got this again in a size 10 and it was 13 pounds and this is quite long so i had the vision of this yellow shirt of being like a beach cover up i think it's going to be quite a long one but i guess i can always like undo it and kind of like shuffle it up and like off the shoulder and just try to style it a little bit better than it just hanging off of my body they also had this in a lilac color they had it in stripe they had it in loads of different variations but i don't have a yellow shirt i do have a pink one from zara that i bought recently this is the shirt on and okay so normally it looks like this 
and I feel like I look like when I'm wearing my dad's shirt. So I want to like style it, but then because it's longer at the back, it just looks a bit odd, like it's clinging to my legs. But seeing as this was £13 and I'm probably not going to wear it, this one will definitely be coming back. So this is really boring, but I picked up a pair of these shorts. Primark, I think they went crazy on TikTok. I haven't seen a TikTok of them, but I've heard people say that TikTok are gonna sell out these kinds of shorts. So they had it in, again, loads of different colors. They had it in like gradients, so like blue to white, pink to white, but I'm after a black pair of shorts for the gym. Now these could potentially be see-through. I've got them in a size medium, £3.50. They have a lot of give to them, so I'm hoping that these ones should fit and hopefully they're not gonna be see-through i feel like they could potentially be see-through though so they may not be suitable for the gym but if not then i can obviously i can wear them underneath my green shirt and i can just wear them as cycling shorts for everyday use so i have the shorts on underneath the green dress that does not fit sadly um but these are actually really nice i definitely should have just stayed with a size small because if i unroll them i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but they are a little bit baggy at the top but i'm definitely going to go and exchange these and go and get a smaller size because they're really comfortable they're really really stretchy and they're a nice length as well they're quite long um but obviously you can pull them up they're a nice ribbed material i'm a fan and also i don't actually think that they're see-through just a little bit of a squat test and they weren't too bad they don't suck you in whatsoever like they are a very very stretchy material but that's quite nice to have you know a comfy pair of cycling shorts that i can wear on an everyday basis and maybe to the gym but i do prefer my gym wear to suck me in i then picked up a swimming costume which is really hard to show you guys because well it's a swimming costume on a hanger i have a swimming costume from primark i'll insert a photo here that i got last year i don't believe that they're doing it this year unfortunately which is so annoying because i always get so many questions about it but it's from primark my favorite ever swimming costume so when i saw this one i was like it looks pretty cute it's quite basic but this could be another staple. So it's just this cream coloured suit. So at the back, it just has like an open back situation. It looks quite confusing, I'm not going to lie. There is a lot of strings. If I put it up here, can we all see? Try and figure this thing out. I think you just like cross it over and then you can just wrap it around loads around your waist, which is what I'm hoping. Well, I mean, I've got plenty of string to do so but that is what i'm going to do because sometimes with swimming costumes i find that i lose my shape a little bit this is what it looks like got it in a size 10 it was 12 pounds it also has padding in it not sure if i'm going to take out the padding or not because i'm just not really exactly a padding kind of gal so i've got the swimming costume on underneath my shirt and i actually really really like it it's just like a nice basic swimming costume i have taken out the padding just because you could see it in the swimming costume obviously it's double lined um but you could just see like these like white bits of padding in there so i have taken them out i'm not sure if this is how you're meant to tie it it's how i've tied it anyway and then the back is just all open again i'm not sure if i've tied it up correctly i could have done it wrong but i feel like with these women costumes you can kind of just do it as you wish but i absolutely love this I cannot wait to wear it on holiday another swimming piece that i bought was this bikini and i think you guys are gonna love this one this one gives me the vibes of the other swimming costume that i showed you guys a picture of so this is what it looks like it's really hard to show you guys i do have a photo of myself with it on so again i'll insert the photo um but i think that this top is absolutely stunning and i got it in a size 10 and it was eight pounds now i did get the bottoms as you guys saw in the photo and i actually decided to take them back because i got them in a size 10 to start off with and they were kind of like tight around my legs so took them back got a size 12 had the 12 and i was i just wasn't vibing with them i just felt like the top piece where like obviously like the high-waisted bit was there was just like too much material and i felt like it was just i want to feel confident in my bikinis and it just wasn't making me feel confident so i ended up taking back the bottoms so i'm currently on a hunt for a pair of high-waisted bikini bottoms to go with this i'm thinking maybe a white pair could go it is like a ribbed material so i'll definitely have to have a little shop around to find out if i can get anything but i love this top i think it's so so stunning um so yeah definitely go check this one out so now we're moving on to accessories and i have 
a lot to show you guys so firstly i have this little bag i can't remember if i included this in my last primark haul but they do still have them and i want to show it to you guys just in case i haven't shown it before um but again they do this bag in a million and one colors it's just a really sweet bag it does also have a like across the body strap which is probably how i would wear it not too much storage in there but a great little going out bag so i just had to show you guys it so i bought masks and I bought three packs of masks because they were reduced. So I got two packs for 50p and one pack was a pound. So I got six masks for two pounds. And I assume that they're reduced because it's not mandatory to wear masks. We're going on holiday. We're going to be going to different countries where masks are still mandatory. Obviously you need to wear them on the planes. And if I'm honest, I am a fan of wearing masks now. So yeah, stocked up on some new cute masks. We have some stripes and spots some flowers and then just a plain black one and then some more flowers and a plain blue one moving on to head accessories i got a hat again it was reduced to a pound and it says good vibes in orange writing now i don't actually really wear caps i do own quite a few though does it look okay <laughs> i don't know if it's a bit um bent in the wrong place i think it might be okay but good vibes all around i've also got an orange bikini that i thought you know could be a vibe i then also bought a bandana um i don't know how i'm gonna wear this but i bought it so it's like this pale yellow printed scarf thing that's not focusing there you go it was one pound fifty i'm gonna give it a go okay I'm gonna give it a go. If it doesn't look good, it doesn't look good. It's only £1.50. And finally, I'm gonna move on to shoes. And I have gone a little bit crazy on the sandal front. I don't really know why, because I already own two pairs of sandals from Primark that I absolutely love, cream and black staples. But their sandal game this year is like actually on another level. They do so many fun, cute sandals and I just couldn't say no okay <laughs> so the first pair i'm going to start off with are these ones so they just look like this i'm not going to try them on because you guys aren't getting fit content for free okay um but yeah so this is what the sandals look like they are six pounds and really cute they also did them in pink and they're like a blue croc print but yeah they did also do it in pink and then these are the same style of sandals i'm actually going to take them off of this blooming cardboard thing but they are actually in a brown color they're not crop print either like they are literally just like faux leather again they were six pounds and i don't actually own just a pair of tan brown sandals so these are definitely going to be a staple just throughout the summer and the spring months and i'm really excited about it and finally I just think that these are so freaking cute. So these were only £8, which I actually do feel like is a bargain. So these are the sandals. Now, my mum wasn't too keen on these, and I thought she'd absolutely love them. But then she tried them on, and she loved them a lot more. So I picked these up just for a little bit more of, like, a going out pair of shoes. Like, when we're on holiday, we're going to Bali, and I don't think I'm going to be wanting to wear, like, heels out really i think i'm just going to want to stay in sandals the whole time so i picked these ones up now these are wide fit and they fit my feet perfectly and i don't have wide feet so if you are a wide foot person maybe not for you and if you don't have wide feet then don't shy away from these ones because they actually fit me perfectly just thought they were so stunning and they're so sparkly and i'm really excited to wear them on holiday and they were only eight pound as i said so that is everything i have to show you guys i hope you all did enjoy the haul i'm not gonna lie i feel like i did really well on this haul like i feel like i definitely picked up a lot of good bits so yeah definitely go check out primark and like this video if you did enjoy it leave a comment and make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already and i shall see you all very soon in a new video